This week, as the weather here in Sydney is getting nicer and nicer, a friend and I have been spending more time in the water, snorkeling and surfing. One serene and exploratory, the other thrilling and unpredictable. Both freeing from the day-to-day -day distractions, both about chasing something dynamic, the beauty of aquatic life, the rise and fall of a wave. The full experience of these require your attention and to be present amidst the impermanence. This is something that I can take home and appreciate about making coffee. The process of growth that demands a necessary and continual embracement of imperfection. There are some good pours and more often than not bad pours. For me to fully enjoy this hobby, I believe there is a need for me to not only accept inconsistency, but in order to unravel the beauty within each cup, from the radiating warmth and soul of the body, to the authenticity and uniqueness found within the cracks. Beautiful things don't ask for attention, and a cup of coffee with its diverse sensory cues sits there, waits there. Like my experience in snorkeling and surfing this week, the cup of coffee requires my attention to be present amidst its impermanence and to savour each bit of it.